What's up everybody, DGTPOR here to do another unboxing and a long overdue one of the Master Grade 2.0 Yakushiki. And here it is, here's the box art right here. Beautiful box art right here, really like this box art. Uh, I've been slacking in my Gundam game and my Gunpla game very heavily this year. Just other hobbies and stuff have took over. So you got the box right here, you got... Uh, Put the camera back down. You got the side panel right here. Got Hakushiki right there. You got over here on the side. You got you got front view, rear view, uh, camera eye of the different things you can do there. You got pose right there. You got the accessories right there. You got little uh, Char or Quattro if you want to call them that. And you got the other other panel right here, and you got the other info panel on this side with some more poses and some details about what the kit can do. I'm going to pop her open. I got my ghetto backdrop right there, tilting to the side. side and I guess there is paint on here. I didn't think there was paint on here. Or paint, but tape, I mean. I didn't think there was tape on this box, but I guess there is. Just knocked the camera all over the place. That off like so. Oh, and I'm dropping, dropping runners. So the first runner we got out of here, we got some blue body parts right here, with some silver parts. That maybe that's inner frame parts. I don't know. I didn't build the original Yakushiki, so I don't know what to expect. I just know that this kit is pretty well praised. And then you got some inner frame parts right here. You got the yellow beam savers right there. And then you got the gold. The gold paint right here, which looks way better than previous Bandai gold paints. So I really, I really enjoy that. So you got some body parts here. Looks like some leg parts up in here. Same right here. Shoulder parts down in here, maybe. That looks like a leg part. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to see how this will come together. Here's some uh, uh, skirt armor parts. There's some head parts up here. And some leg parts right here. You got, you got bottom of the feet parts. You got the little char or quattro right there. Some uh, tape fusing right there. More inner frame right here. You got, you got a sheet of stickers and some dry, uh, some dry transfer, and then it looks like maybe another sheet of stickers behind that. Maybe, but some more inner frame part right here. Now this is the first new master grade. 2.0 kit, like original Master Grade 2.0 kit, not a, just a rehashing in like five years or something like that. You got some more feet parts right here, some more inner frame parts, and then you got some stuff. I don't know what this is. And then you got uh, the balut system that is uh, that just came out recently. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up or not. Depends on how well I like the kit. And then you got. Gundam diorama front. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a mobile game. It's probably Japan only PC. It's some type of PC game. Probably Japan only release. And then you got the, uh, the kit right here. You got some information on it right here. You got the evolution of the kit it looks like. It looks like it kind of goes into like the Delta Plus. I always think that's what that section is, is like what transfers in, like, you know what I mean, like what, what the suit evolves into. I, I'm not sure if that's what that means, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. And you got the runners right here. We'll do a count real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 runners all together, counting the, uh, the beam saver runner. And you got the section, and it is the good type of uh, it's the good type of manual which tells you what runners you're gonna need. I still don't know why they don't make them all like that, 
very unbeknown to me. And you do the head, then you do the arms, and then you do the waist. So pretty straightforward. Got some more detail right here, probably about the Yakushiki and the Zeta. And then you got the color guide, the painting guide. The painting guy for a little quattro right there. Some information about the armor it looks like over here. The weapons and other suits. Right there you got the Zeta, the Mark II Gundam, and uh, I can't remember the name of that one. <laughs> I should be I should know the name of that, but I can't remember. It's been so long since I've watched Zeta. With the backpack. Here, got the final assembly pages right here. And then you got the back, and then you got what it should look like when it's all done and somewhat decaled up. So yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, the unboxing of the Yakushiki. Uh, like I said you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So eight packages of runners, which count out to be 14 runners in total, uh, counting the little beam saber one if you want to count that as a runner, 13 if not. But there you go. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty excited for this. It's been a long time since I built something. I built the Wing Gundam uh, a couple months ago, but I lost a lot of pieces on it, so unfortunately I'm not going to do a review on that just because it would be bad. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So, so it's been a long time since I've actually done this seriously. So, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to get back in it, and I hope you'll be there to see it. So, thank you for watching this unboxing. As always, I'm DGTPOR, and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at DGTPOR, and you can click it on the links below. Thank you guys so much.